Good afternoon, students, um, and welcome to another video where we are going to be talking about absolute value and opposites. If this is your first time watching the video, we're going to go ahead and make sure we just watch everything straight on through. If this is your second time watching the video, please take a moment to pause and copy down what you see on the screen so that way it saves me and you some time later on. Okay, so today we're going to talk about what an absolute value and an opposite is when we talk about numbers. This is going to um, become a very important part about when we start to work with negative numbers. So the absolute value of a number is a number's distance away from zero. So for example, on this number line that I already have modeled, I have from negative three to three shown. And if we're trying to figure out what is each of these numbers distance away from zero, three is one, two, three, three units away from zero, and negative three is one, two, also three units away from zero. So you'll notice whether it's negative three or three, they're both three units away from zero. So the way that we model absolute value is we use these vertical lines that look like this. So if I'm trying to model the absolute value of negative three, I'm gonna use these vertical lines. If I wanna model the absolute value of three, I'm gonna use the vertical lines, okay? So it's really important. I would try making your number that you're taking the absolute value of a little bit smaller so you don't confuse these numbers with ones. So I'll make mine a little bit bigger so it's a little more like obvious. You can also make the lines a little thicker. Okay, so if I wanna model what is the absolute value of a number, I use the vertical lines. And so the absolute value of negative three is simply three because it's three units away from zero. The absolute value of positive three is also three because it is three units away from zero. So you'll notice the absolute value of a number is always positive if the value, um, if the negative is on the inside. Okay, so if I had uh, like the absolute value of negative three, we said was three. But if I had the negative on the outside like this, the absolute value, um, and there's a negative on the outside of the absolute value sign. This is the same thing as like multiplying times a negative one. So your answer is going to be a negative. We'll get into it a little bit more when we talk about multiplying with negative numbers. But if the negative is on the inside, you can always assume that the absolute value is going to be positive, okay? So the distance away from zero is what we call absolute value. In the same kind of track, there's something called an opposite. So opposites are numbers that have the same distance away from zero. So if we have, um, well, we can look at the two that we just did. So three and uh, negative three have the same distance away from zero. Same distance from zero. So they are opposites. Since these two numbers have the same distance away from zero, they would be classified as opposites. If we have a number like five, its opposite is going to be whatever number has the same distance away from zero, which is negative five. So you'll notice it kind of has to do with the symbols, right? The opposite is kind of like the opposite sign of whatever the number is. So the opposite of positive five is negative five. The opposite of negative five is positive five. The opposite of negative three is positive three and so forth. But the technical definition is they have the same distance away from zero. Um, and the last thing we need to know about opposites, and this is going to be crucial for our next lesson, is when we add opposites together, it makes something that's called a zero pair. So I'll use the two examples from above. If I were to add negative three and positive three, the solution to this is going to be the number zero. Same with uh, negative five and five. So if I did negative five plus five, the answer to this is zero. If I did 13 plus negative 13 plus its opposite, the answer is going to be zero. So anytime we add two opposites together, it makes zero. It's like they cancel each other out. I had $3 and I paid someone $3. So now I have no money. So when we add opposites together, it makes a zero pair. So now you know what an absolute value and opposite 
is. If this is your second time watching the video, um, I am going to flip over and read your practice problems. Please make sure you pause and get them copied down on the opposite side of your page. So your practice questions today are, identify the opposite and absolute value for each number. So we have 14, this is a negative nine, 0 0.52 or 52 hundredths, one sixth and three and one third. So take a moment if you haven't already to pause and make sure you copy down the practice questions. If you have any questions that you need clarified, please make sure you write them in your need to ask section at the top of your left hand side page. And I will see you guys in our next video. Have a great day.